So now let's talk about definite integrals. If we have a continuous function g on the interval from a to b, and f is continuous on the range of g, and we say u is equal to g of x, then the integral from a to b of f of g of x, g prime of x dx, is the same thing as the integral from g of a to g of b of f of u du. So basically, we'll do substitution the same way as we did before, but we'll have to change our bounds to be in relation to u rather than x. So for example, in this one, we'll let u be equal to x plus 7. This gives me du is equal to dx. So this becomes the integral of du over u to the fourth. As far as my bounds go, when x is equal to 0, u is equal to 7, and when x is equal to 4, u is equal to 11. Integrating this, we get negative 1 over 3, u to the negative 3, going between 7 and 11. So this is negative 1 third times 11 to the negative 3 minus negative one-third times seven to the negative three. And when we work this out, this is approximately point zero, 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 seven. Let's look at this one. It may not be immediately obvious what du is and what u is. So we have two things going on here, a natural log and a 1 over x, and we know those are related. We know the derivative of natural log is 1 over x, so I'm going to let u be equal to ln of x, which will make du 1 over x dx. So this becomes the integral of the ln of x becomes a u, and the 1 over x dx becomes d of u. When x is 1, the natural log of 1 is 0, and when x is 5, we get ln of 5. So this is 1 half u squared going between 0 and ln of 5, which when you work out you get 1 half ln squared of 5. We did one similar to this before. For this one we have u equal to cosine x which would make du equal to negative sine x dx. To balance out the negative in this derivative, we'll make this integral negative u cubed du. When x is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, and when x is pi, the cosine of pi is negative 1. We can interchange our limits of integration, and that just changes the sign of the integral. So now we have this as positive. So this becomes 1 over 4, u to the 4th, going between negative 1 and 1. So we get 1 over 4 times 1 to the 4th minus 1 over 4 times negative 1 to the 4th, 
which turns out to be zero. This one may not be immediately obvious what u should be and what du should be, in particular because we only see a sine squared. So I'm going to first rewrite this. Sine squared can be rewritten as 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x dx. So now I'll let u be equal to 2 of x. So the du is equal to 2 dx. I don't have a 2 dx, so I'll have to divide both sides to get 1 half du is equal to dx. So this becomes 1 minus cosine u. I still have this 1 half out front, and then dx is going to become 1 half du, so 1 half times 1 half will be 1 over 4 du. For my limits of integration, if x is equal to 0, 2 times x is 0. If x is equal to pi, I get 2x is 2 pi. So this is now 1 over 4 times x, or u, and the integral of cosine is sine, so minus sine of u. Between 0 and 2 pi. So this is 1 over 4 times 2 pi minus sine of 2 pi minus 0 minus sine of 0. And when you work this out, you get a final answer of pi over 2.